what's up guys and welcome back to the trucking journey this is a video all you new truckers have been waiting for backing basics how to back a 53 foot trailer Let's your think. best friend when you're backing is these right here guys cameraman if you could come over here which on the driver and the passenger side you got your big mirror and you got your concave mirror both show you a different angle and then you know you've got so your the mirror. first thing we're going to do when we do get inside the cab is check both the mirrors i'm already hooked up to the trailer it's straight so what how i'm going to check it is i'm going to see the side of the trailer in this side and i'm going to see the side of the trailer in this side if there's one side you can't see your trailer's crooked but follow me over here speaking of trailers knowing your dimensions is a big key now this is actually an average box trailer like you guys are going to be hooking up to at truck driving school and with with your trainers and you're going to be hauling all over the country do you know how wide it is let's check stop now if we measure the trailer it is we'll call it 102 inches or in simple terms eight and a half foot okay now all parking spots are not created equal and all docks are not created equal but at most of your truck stops most parking spots are 12 and a half foot wide that is important information to know if you got an eight and a half foot trailer you're going into a 12 and a half foot hole let you know you got a couple feet on each side so if you're three foot from the hole over here you probably want to get out and look all right now I'm getting ready to get in the truck. We're actually gonna show you some examples of a 45 degree and a 90 degree. And I'll explain the times that you wanna do either. But anytime you're setting up for a backing situation, because any good trainer will always say the same phrase, the setup is the key. But as you're setting up, be aware of your environment. As far as poles that you could possibly hit, trucks, trailers, dogs, anything that may possibly be in the way, be aware of that as you're setting up. But come on, let's get started. Now, when you're out on the road, you always, always have your seatbelt on for multiple reasons. But, when it's time to back up, first thing I do is take my seatbelt off and roll down my window so I can hear. As I see my hole, the trailer that's on the edge of my hole, I'm gonna wait till the front of my trailer gets even with it it is and I'm hard to the right and then back to the left and I'm gonna actually get parallel to where I was now at this point I'm gonna get out and look. My trailer should be set up at a 45 degree angle, headed right for the hole that I wanna get into. Reason it's called a 45 is my trailer is set up at a 45 degree angle behind my truck. And right here is the hole that I'm going for. Now okay. the truck I'm set up good. Now look, I've got my hazard lights on. And what I'm gonna do is start off giving it hard ride. My trailer's going back there, I start easing back to the left. I'm looking at my mirror the whole time, I'm looking at my passenger side, making sure I'm not hitting anything on that. But I know I'm not from the initial setup. And 
if you're off, a good little rule of thumb to always remember is turn towards the trouble. And there we are. Now you'll notice that wasn't perfect. At the beginning of it, I was actually too close right here. But I didn't want to get so close I would hit it. So I snaked it up and then I gave it a little left hand turn. Turn towards the trouble. If you're too close on one side, give it a little turn towards that. Most common mistake you truck drivers make in backing is getting crazy with the steering wheel. You don't need big maneuvers, slight maneuvers, slight adjustments as you're going. But that is a 45. Now, what we're gonna show is a 90 degree, which if you look at uh, what's out in front, that's probably, you know, your typical space you're gonna have at a truck stop, but sometimes they're gonna send you to New Jersey or other places that are very, very tight and you don't have that amount of space. A 45 is not gonna work. When you swing around, you're gonna hit something or there's gonna be a curve or a wall or something in the way. And those incidences, when you don't have that much space on the right-hand side, that's when you're gonna have to do a 90 degree. Which what that means, instead of turning right, turning back left, straighten up, setting up that 45 degree angle, I'm gonna have to do it straight in. Which is basically what I'm, well, here, let me show you. Okay, now I'm gonna pull around and show you guys a 90 degree. And you know, once again, the whole time that you do a 90 degree versus a 45 when you just don't have the space on that uh, passenger side of the truck, so you do a 90, no big deal. Same basic maneuver. But this time, which I'm coming even with my hole, I'm just gonna keep going straight and not set up for the 45 like I did before. But I don't want to be too close to this over here because I'm going to have some front end swing to my left. I almost got it right, but I got out to look and I'm right even with the hole in the back of the trailer. So when I get back in the truck, I'm going to pull up just a little bit before I start my maneuver. But also in the setup, I wanted to, also in the setup, I wanted to leave some space on this side because the first thing I'm gonna do is kick it to the left so this front end's gonna swing around like that. If I was too close, I would hit one of these trailers. But I think I'm just right. You guys ready to see a 90 degree? Let's do it. Alright, it's 90 degree time. Oops, first I need to pull up. That should be fine. Put it in reverse. Kick it hard to the right. The main thing I'm paying attention to is this front end right here.
A little too close on the right now, so I'm gonna do a simple little snake. So guys, I hope that helps. That's some backing basics. One last little key, like actually both times, I was a little close on this side, which in my opinion, it's better to be close on this side than on your blind side. Um, but the way, if you're too close on either side, it's called what I call snaking it. Simple little maneuver to bump the truck and the trailer over, you know, a foot or so, depending upon how much degree you give it, but it's a, snaking action is like in this instance if i wanted to go to the right i give it wheel to the right wheel to the left wheel back to the right those three motions will get the trailer straight and the truck and the trailer will bump on over and most of the time it's a pretty easy straight line back into the hole but i want to give a very special thanks to my two cameramen robert and Shua, for getting all these great angles helping putting this video together couldn't have done it without you guys. Be, Be safe, safe out, out there, there and, and keep, keep on, on trucking. trucking. See you next episode, people. Yeah, I'm just working up there, building up all my equipment. Right now, I got a full blown entire user uh, parts. Right in the truck. Yep.